Terenable. We're going to talk about this today. I am going to try to say it's chemical. <laughs> this is a mouthful. Chloro, dehydro, methyl, testosterone. I think I got it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, before we dig into it and look at it, uh, please take the time to subscribe. I get a lot of people watching my videos, not a ton of people subscribing. The YouTube gods like it when you subscribe to my channel. The more you subscribe, the more they show my videos and their searches and the algorithm just likes that. Like the videos, comment. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer those questions. Okay, so let's dig into... Terenobol, commonly known as T-ball. Um, we're going to take a look at the properties of it. Uh, it is a derivative of testosterone. Really, it's it's pretty similar to D-ball. It's just a, from what I understand, I've never personally used it, but from what I understand, it's just a cleaned up version of D-ball. Um, it has a added double uh, bond at the carbon one and two. Um, this alters the anabolic to androgenic ratio in favor of being an anabolic um, compound. It also has an added chloro group at the carbon-4. Um, this er inhibits the aromatization and further reduces its androgenic nature. This is a key difference from uh, D-ball. D-ball really it, it is an estrogen bomb. Um, so this is really... It really a version of, of D-ball without the estrogenic um, nastiness. Um, although the estrogen with the D-ball is probably what makes people blow up. I mean, it's it's what gives you that quick size gain. Um, it's just water weight. It's garbage weight, in my opinion. Um, um, it also has the added methyl group at the 17th carbon position. We all know what this means. This makes it AC17AA anabolic androgenic steroid, um, which makes it orally available um, and also liver toxic. Um, essentially, like I said, this is just a non aromatizing, less androgenic version of D ball. It's, it's was developed in 1962. Uh, was discontinued from use in 1996. Um, the, if I recall correctly, it was used by the East German Olympic team. It was kind of their choice um, in the 70s for <laughs> for setting Olympic records. Um, the effects of Terenobol increased protein synthesis and nitrogen retention, increased red blood cell count. Um, reduces SHBG, uh, which is nice, uh, improves strength, uh, mild improvements in size, and protects muscle mass loss. Side effects of T-ball, it's pretty mild for an oral. Um, it does raise hematocrit. Um, uh, it has shown, been shown to significantly worsen lipids. Most orals do. Um, um, I'll point it out again, there's no estrogenic sides. It is uh, very mild on the androgenic um, end of end of things. Um, almost no androgenic effect at all. Uh, not a measurable one. Um, it does cause uh, liver stress. It is a C17AA, so you always have to think about that when, when stacking this with other things. You probably don't want to be taking it with other orals, or if you do in limited um, limited time frame. Um, you also probably want to take some proactive measures to um, to help liver function, supplements, etc. Um, it does suppress natural tests, as most um, AASs do. Uh, bodybuilding uses for Terenobol, I t to to be honest with you, um, sorry, my dog's flipping out. Somebody's walked in. Um, to be honest with you. I, Contest prep is the only time I can really see it having any value, but I, I just think there are better options. I do think there are better options. Um, um, it, it does cause increased nitrogen retention. It suppresses SHBG. I do think Provirin is better. Uh, maybe for female bodybuilders, uh, since it is very mild on the androgenic side effects. It, it seems like a poor choice for building size to me. Um, 
Tournable half life is about 16 hours, so you would want to do a twice daily dose if you were going to take it. Um, doses, from what I understand, beginner doses are somewhere in the 20 to 40 milligrams. Intermediates, 40 to 60. Advanced is 60 plus. Women, um, uh, it's five milligram doses. Is kind of where 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 I've seen it in studies show that um, le- five milligrams or less. Um, have no virilization effects on women. That's kind of cool. Um, so this is a, you know, at f- a dose of five milligrams per day, this is pretty safe for women. You're not going to grow a dick. Um, my experience, I've never used it. It's weak and a 17 AA. So I, if, if I'm going to roll the dice and use a 17 AA and put that stress on my body, I want some sort of effect out of it. I, I don't want to use something that's weak. Just my two cents. Um, you know, I think there are better choices for cutting. Anivar, Winstrol, Halo. Um, and provides very little to no benefit for bulking. I just don't see where it helps much of anything. I, I, I think oils are stupid for bulking. Anyway, if you've watched any of my videos, I go into the reasons why. They suppress appetite. They cause toxicity. They basically make you sick. And if you're sick... It's not a good environment for growth. Um, might be an option for women, though. I don't, I don't really hear a lot of women competitors using it, but it's, you know, it's interesting that it causes no virilization at a five milligram or less dose. So, might be a good choice for women um, competitors. So, something to consider for for women. Um, that would be one area I would be interested to see how it works and what it could be useful for. Um, anyway, thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. Feel free to ask questions in the comment section. If there are other videos you'd like me to make, please let me know. Um, Follow me on Instagram at Paul K. Barnett. Have a great day.